MIUI 13 vs MIUI 12.5 Enhanced Edition Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video we're going to do a comparison of the features of MIUI 13 versus MIUI 12.5 now on the left we do have the POCO X3 Pro which right now is running the global build of MIUI 12.5 enhanced edition on the right hand side this here is your POCO F3 Mi 11X Redmi K40 whatever you want to call it this is running MIUI 13 China beta build again global build china beta build so the first change you will notice is that the logo of course has changed then you will notice that in the about page the ui is of course a bit different and here in it is telling me that my ram is 6 plus 2 gb so from where did this extra 2 gb show up this my idea friends is the feature of memory extension which is available on specific me ui devices but previously they did not tell you that you have the extra virtual ram available now with me ui 13 you do get that feature that you have the extra 2 gb of ram has been added as a virtual ram then in terms of the lock screens so in terms of the lock screens there is nothing different the same options are there and everything looks exactly the same as long as you have the same lock screen clock options enabled we are going to have a look at those options later in this video then this here is the launcher now do note poco devices come with the infamous or famous poop launcher but it is nothing but you know a ramp down version of me ui launcher so next up let us go ahead and check out the widgets ui so if you press and hold on the empty space or the other thing you can do is you can always pinch and that also brings up the same options so here it is these are your options you will notice that the ui is a bit different here and you have a pill shape for the widgets and settings and wallpaper the text has been removed you only have the icons here and you have your wallpaper widgets and settings let us go into widgets on both of them so on miui 12.5 you have some static widgets which are present now with miui 13 you have widgets which you can download from the internet and you do have a bunch of cool looking widgets i have one of the clock or the calendar widget which is added on the mi 11x or the poco f3 that is one change and then the next one is if you go into the settings you will notice that MIUI 13 gives you the option of don't show text once you enable that the text below the icons has now disappeared this option is not present in MIUI 12.5 everything else is the same with respect to your launcher then we can have a look at the volume panel so the volume panel on both MIUI 12.5 and MIUI 13 exactly the same nothing new has been added or nothing has been removed next up let us have a look at the control center so bam there it is miui 12.5 on the left miui 13 on the right and as you can see we have text below the tiles and then we have gone closer to the ios clone that miui is with respect to the control center next up let us jump over to the settings options and have a look at what is new and what is different so if you go into the option of connection and sharing on miui 13 you will notice a new option called miui plus beta and here you have something called handoff so this is going to you know let you share stuff between multiple devices which are signed into the same miui account so you can share your apps videos continuity and all those things this i think is a clone of apple's airdrop other than that your other features are almost the same like me share cast printing etc all of those are exactly the same across both the versions then we can jump over to the next option so the poco f3 here has an always on display feature because it has an amoled panel now with respect to that 
always on display specific feature notification effect now over here says animations and once you go inside the options are the same the text at the bottom has changed so you now have pulse red blue starlight and light up the screen other than that all the other options like sleep, raise to wake, double tap to wake or turn off on your lock screen, wake screen for new notifications, all those options are exactly the same and the options for your lock screen clock format are also the same. No new options have been added which means you're not getting the Android 12 lock screen clock. Then we can head over to wallpaper and personalization. So here in the UI is exactly the same. The options are also the same. If you go into library and you go into super wallpapers more, no new super wallpapers have been added with MIUI 13 at the time of recording this video, but you do have new live wallpapers, which are your molten glass and the crystallization effect. Again, if you have a non MIUI device, you want these live wallpapers, we do have have a video showing you how to install these wallpapers on any Android device which of course is linked in the description of the video next up let us jump over to display so here and again UI is exactly the same the options are also the same in color scheme or if you go into your AI image engine this of course is device specific the option for refresh rate same UI nothing different but what you will notice new is if you go into font settings you do have a new Mi Sans font which has been added with Mi UI 13. Next up you will notice that sound and vibration has been renamed to sound and touch. Now in here the options are exactly the same. The only change you will notice is that on top you have something called touch and when you touch on touch you get the option of configuring your natural touch and the haptic feedback level on supported devices this option of haptic feedback level would be in the sound and vibration main page over here on me ui 12.5 next up we have the option of home screen so everything is same with respect to the home screen we have already covered the changes then we can go into notification and control center now here and again everything is almost the same control center changes have already been covered then you will notice that password and security has been renamed to fingerprint face data and screen lock once you go inside over here the options are the same now why has it been renamed it has been renamed because with me ui 13 you get a new option called security here it is and what is this new option it is just the security application giving you a bunch of different options like screen lock shutdown confirmation me ui warning etc so all those features are present over here in the new security sub section Next up we have privacy protection now of course privacy protection is always you know the UI is different along with the features but you do not get any additional features between MIUI 12.5 and MIUI 13 China builds the only difference is that this feature do not track was called something else in MIUI 12.5 China builds then we can jump over to the next option which here is battery now here and of course you do have your battery profiles so you have safe battery balanced performance you also have your ultra battery saver if you go into the battery option you will not start with me ui 13 you can now see your battery health so whether it is poor normal good or excellent along with your temperature is now changed from a number to say cool hot super hot or about to burn your hand that was a joke and then how many times you've charged your device optimized charging is present in both miui 12.5 and miui 13 china builds along with the option of automated tasks and schedule power off and power on of course optimized charging is not present in the global miui 12.5 builds Next up we have apps. So in apps everything is almost the same except for the new feature called secure mode. So herein when secure mode is 
turned on only the apps that passed Xiaomi's security tests will be able to be installed on your specific device and it can also neutralize risks now i'm not sure whether they're going to roll this feature out in miui 13 global builds or not because flags will be raised and <sighs> anyways next up you have screen time and of course on the global builds you get the google digital well-being so let us move over to screen time and here and again nothing has changed with respect to miui 12.5 china or miui 13 china everything is exactly the same then we have special features now in special features you will notice that game turbo and video toolbox have been combined into something called the sidebar now this sidebar you can of course change the position you will notice it still says over here toolbox position because this was previously known as video toolbox now you can either say always show or you can also change the position between left and right of your screen so here it is once i swipe from the right these are the applications tap on any of the app it is going to open in a floating window and that is your feature of video toolbox which has now been renamed to sidebar of course you can configure what all games video apps you want to see the personalization features in and game toolbox is the same in miui 12.5 and miui 13 china builds nothing new has been added or removed then we can go into the feature of additional settings here and again everything is almost the same except for one handed mode if you go into one handed mode on miui 12.5 you will notice that this is how it looks like you can configure your 4.5 inches 4 inches or 3 inches you do not get any of those options with miui 13 and the reason for that is the one handed mode over here is from android 12. this is straight from android 12 this is not your miui 100 mode anymore which is why you're not getting all these other options which you get on miui 12.5 then if we go into the button shortcuts or gesture shortcuts option you will notice everything is almost the same you have your three finger screenshot miui china builds do come with the feature of partial screenshot and double tap on the back of course is present for supported devices along with double tap on the fingerprint sensor then we can jump over to the camera application now nothing much has changed over here as well and the only difference which you might notice is that with miui 13 if you go into the documents option you have this icon in the middle which is your privacy icon which does let you add a specific watermark to your images which you capture in case you want to protect your images from being copied when they are shared and you can always add this feature using the gallery application once you have the updated gallery application all you need to do is open any picture tap on more go into protective watermark and add whatever watermark you want to add and last but not the least let us go ahead and check out the security application so with the security application you will notice that you have this new swipe up to open the toolbox with miui 12.5 you can see on the left that everything is over there at the bottom but with miui 13 you have to explicitly swipe up to open the toolbox and there it is peeps that is what was different same in miui 12.5 global build and miui 13 beta china build which of course is based on android 12 and the miui 12.5 build was based on android 11 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you